people say that punks are rebels without a cause, but that's not true. I mean, we have plenty of things to fight for. I mean, kids in the 60s, they, they made people aware of the problems, and they had a war to fight against. We don't have a war, but those problems are still around. They didn't find any solutions for them. I mean, they still exist. It's hard these days for anyone, for kids to have anything to believe in. I mean, the traditional things we were brought up with, the government, um, the family system, the American dream, the whole religion thing that's so important to our society, they just don't work anymore. It's all falling down around us. We can see it every day. It's just nothing you can believe in. We live in a government right now we're under an administration that's trying to regress, go back to a golden age that doesn't exist. And they, they sincerely believe we could have a nuclear war. And that's, that's a really scary thing to grow up thinking that these people are any day are just going to blow us all up. And the whole family system that we were brought up on, uh, the American dream that our parents realized of going to school and getting a good job and getting married, and that would make you happy. But that didn't make them happy. Most of our parents are getting divorced. Most of the punks come from broken homes. And they look at their parents and they say, well, if that's the way they turn out, I don't want to turn out like that. I mean, that's, it's not going to make us happy if it didn't make them happy. And, and the religious values that we were brought up in, I mean, we live in what people term a sinful society these days. Those religious values that we were brought up in, they just don't exist. Most of us are look at ourselves as individuals, and um, as far as following some sort of dogmatic religious values or code, we, we just won't do that anymore. How many times has someone come to you and said, friend, what you're doing to yourself is wrong? The way you're living is not right. You need to turn around. Has anyone ever said that to you? And what was your reaction? Did you just go ahead right on and do whatever you want to do? Or did you listen when people tried to tell you that you're making a mistake? You know the devil will get you to go to any extreme. The devil loves extremes. He'd like for you to be somewhere cutting yourself and deforming yourself and abusing your body somehow, some way. That's one of the devil's tricks today. What we're trying to achieve here is we've opened our house up to, to uh, anyone that's, that wants to change, that wants to find Christ, that, that wants to get off the streets, that wants to uh, definitely get an improvement in their lives, get their lives on the right track. We allow kids to stay here, we give them food, uh, we do as much as we can. Every, everyone that, that comes here has been from a divorced family. That has been the major problem that we've seen is the family has fallen apart on these kids. They come here and, and, and they have nothing. They have no place to live, no money, no food. You know, we can't turn them out. Back to the basic question, if you're a punk rocker, yes, you can get saved. But I, I think very definitely after you are truly born again, you'll, you'll hear that still small voice begin to talk to you about particular things in your life that would be displeasing to God. But as far as the, the punk rock music, I'm not really that familiar with it. I, my own opinion would be that it does not bring God much glory. We're, we were both part of the punk scene. We both found Jesus Christ, who changed our lives drastically, where you had a monster and an alcoholic, or both of the same. Yes, both <laughs> and we both, he, he really helped us. He's, he's played a major part in both of our lives. Parents are, are too busy uh, seeking their own pleasure, not, not really, really, really we're rearing the child in the ways of the Lord. When you don't rear a child in the ways of the Lord, he's going to want it. He's, he's, he's going to try and find the truth. One of the, I think, the presets of punk is that is that you don't accept the is that you don't accept morality just f as a code of rules for no reason without thinking about it. Is that morals and, and institutions stuff like that should be questioned just like everything else should be, and that organized religion isn't very doesn't go along with that. Accepting what some preacher says just because he's a preacher and, and claims he's in the, does something in the name of God is really stupid. And it's, and people, it's the preachers and the Reagans and people like that who end up killing.
millions of people in the name of, of us versus them or in the name of some religion or their country or their flag or whatever. And that punks, I, I can't imagine a punk accepting what Jerry Falwell says or some other um, asshole preacher. We can say bad things about the church and everything like that, but it's just another uh, crutch. Like kids, some kids drink, some kids take pills, some kids go to church. <laughs> That's the awesome.